Over the past three decades, Apostle Kojo Safukantanka has been one of the most prominent figures driving innovation in Ghana and Africa as a whole. From using materials such as ant mounts and palm nuts to cast and mold engines to producing fully functional electric vehicles, his journey has been remarkable, though not without challenges. The evolution from his earliest models to the current designs shows the immense effort, sheer talent, creativity and time invested in his work. In today's video, we will explore some gadgets revealed at the Kantanka Tech Expo 2024. Apart from several upgraded models, four new gadgets were unveiled. Among the upgraded ones was the Kantanka Corn Combine Harvester, also known as Kantanka Hunebro 2, an improved version of its predecessor Hunebro 1. This machine combines the tasks of harvesting and separating grain crops like corn, wheat, soya beans and rice. The updated model is larger and more efficient, producing 150 bags of grain per hour compared to 70 bags with the older version. I have previous videos explaining in detail how the machine works. Click the link above or check the comment section for more information. An upgraded version of the Kantanka mobile irrigation machine, known locally as the Kantanka Nyansabuaka, was also showcased. This machine is designed for irrigation and the application of fertilizers and pesticides. It features a 14,000 liter capacity and a spraying coverage width of 114 feet, allowing it to irrigate nearly 10 acres in an hour, depending on the soil depth and type of crops. Unlike its previous version, which had separate tractor and irrigation unit, the new model combines them into a single machine for easier operation. It is now much more easier to use, requiring only one person to operate. It features extended arms with additional sprinklers installed at the front for enhanced functionality. Next, we explore the automobile category, starting with the 2024 Kantanka Aubrey Pump pickup truck, built to handle challenging and rugged terrain common in Ghana and across Africa. This was followed by the Kantanka Onante 4 SUV, equipped with a 4x4 drive system for optimal on-road performance. Kantanka also introduced prototypes of unmanned aerial vehicles, which are drones, designed mainly for monitoring areas affected by illegal mining, locally known as Galamse, which is causing significant harm to forests and water bodies. The climax of the event was the latest innovation from Kantanka, the main sun electric vehicle. With its sleek design, the Kantanka Mensa EV represents the future of energy efficient transportation in the fight against climate change. It incorporates advanced technology including fast charging capabilities and is powered by glass ceramics lithium ion phosphate rechargeable batteries. These batteries take just 30 minutes to achieve a full charge, providing an extended range for a seamless driving experience. As the world shifts towards renewable energy, Kantanka ensures that Ghana and Africa remain part of this transformation. Attendees at the event had the opportunity to inspect the vehicle firsthand.
The event proceeded with speeches from invited guests. The theme was ensuring sustainable agriculture for food security through science, technology, and innovation. Professor Eric Inyako Samson, Vice Chancellor of the University of Environment and Sustainable Development and Chair of the event, stressed the importance of protecting the environment and conserving natural resources. He emphasized the need for sustainable agriculture practices that can feed the growing global population while preserving the planet for future generations. He also advocated integrating traditional farming knowledge, which has so often been marginalized, with modern scientific innovations to achieve environmental, social, and economic stability. After his speech, Honorable Abraham Juma Odum, former DCE of Chifohiman Lower Dentra and now an agribusiness consultant, took the stage. He spoke about the grandeur and the fast-fading excitement with which we approach such events, yet often take nothing tangible home. He pointed out that much of our research is left unused, gathering dust on shelves and in cupboards. He stressed the fact that Kantanka has been overlooked for many years and went on to praise him for his perseverance and creativity. Honorable Odum stressed the harmful impact of using dangerous chemicals in farming, which are damaging our land and biodiversity. He urged farmers to reduce their reliance on excessive fertilizers, pesticides and herbicides. He also encouraged the youth to get involved in agriculture and called on the government to provide subsidies for small-scale farmers and young aspiring farmers. Additionally, he urged chiefs to stop demanding high fees from young people seeking land for farming and underlined the importance of recognizing the global consequences of these practices. It was then time for Apostle Kojo Savo Kantanka to deliver his speech. His message was brief and consistent with his long-standing calls for support, promotion of Made in Ghana products, and the importance of self-sustainability. Apostle talked about the need to integrate more hands-on learning in our education system. He stated that it is not about speaking perfect English, but also contributing meaningfully to the country. He warned that if we don't improve our education system, no progress will be made. He also spoke about the importance of combining traditional farming practices with modern methods to grow organic food. He called for self-determination and encouraged people to take pride in their culture. Apostle reflected on the offerings of the West, urging us to compare them with what we already have and question whether we have truly benefited. He expressed that he will not speak at length and he believes that no support will come, citing the fact that even though he manufactures cars in Ghana, people still prefer to import from other countries. He concluded by thanking all the dignitaries and guests who attended the event. Odenohu Kwafu Akutu III delivered a final speech at the event, praising Apostle Kojo Safo Kantaka for his unwavering commitment over the years. He highlighted that Apostle has done what any patriotic citizen would do for their country, and now it is up to all of us to support him. Nekasa wa kama hano meti ni ye wa bon homo din biara wa sum gana mai seni aye ye de chichiro mai biya wa bon homo din oye ne chefa nansu akasa gana fu ibi sum e chini biye ne huse ne ya omamba pe biya be ya no ana aposto oye ne buye i ne mum ne ake ni na ne se oman gana beta nechi. He pointed out that Kantanka started his work before Elon Musk, who is now the world's richest man, with a net worth exceeding 400 billion. But due to support and favorable economic condition Marx received, he became a billionaire. Odinimo argued that if Apostle had been given the same attention and resources, he could have been counted among the world's billionaires. He emphasized that we do not need to look abroad for billionaires to solve our problems. We can create our own by supporting local innovators. According to Adeno, Ghana imported over 900 million worth of agricultural machinery in 2022 alone. He noted that the imported equipment is no different from what Apostle produces. And even if there are differences, Adenuho believes that no machinery is beyond Apostle's capabilities. He suggested that much of that money could have been invested in research to improve existing equipment, yielding even greater benefit. Adenuho urged the government and other agencies to support and invest in Kantanka. Apostle Gojo Savo Kantanka continues to exemplify innovation, resilience, and self-determination. 
the 2024 Kantanka Expo presented not only his groundbreaking inventions, but also the urgent need for collective action to promote local ingenuity and self-reliance. Why do you think it has taken so long for us to embrace Kantanka? Is it because of the self-centered nature of our political hierarchy? Or perhaps a lingering sense of inferiority planted among Africans by years of colonial pull-downs? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like and share. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.